It wasn't just, just a story. It definitely has that super creative force. Working next to thugs and trannies and drag queens and crossdressers. If the old New York, it's the real New York. We were always the misfits of fashion. We were doing all the work for all of the stylists in New York. And the inspiration of all those amazing kids, new kids, talented kids. They flew off the shelves and flew on to Gwen Stefani and the Backstreet Boys and Paris Hilton and Pat made the magic happen. They found their stylish, they have an edge. You know, like Pat would see that girl. She was a magnet and she still is for special kinds of people. The closest thing to working in a nightclub. This is how the good Lord works. <laughs> To hand in my paperwork with my ass out, and then I would be happy. I did accidentally set the store on fire. Pat Fields is the gay mother to downtown New York City. A lot of us are already outcasts and she's embraced us. So I had nobody, I didn't know anybody. I had like two resumes, fake resumes. So now that I had a way to support myself that I liked. I called my parents and I said, I'm not coming home. How about coming to visit me for Christmas? Since I'm living here now. This is like a, a studio of artists. You can't duplicate that all over the globe like a Kmart. One time we decided to put Lady Bunny herself in the window. In the window. It was hysterical. <laughs>